Hello Stampin' Friends, I am Nancy Thompson with Create with Nancy and today I have some creative ink for you. So come on in, if you're joining me on Facebook or YouTube, come on in and say hello. Let me know where you're from, if you're new to my channel. Um, today I have some new product to share with you and also um, in case you were, also we're going to start out with um, an idea in case you're trying to put together some last minute Christmas cards or they could be even thank you notes so that they're all set and ready to go for the holidays, after the holidays. Um, so come on in and say hello to let me know you're here and I'm going to just make sure we are live. I know I'm a few minutes late so um, hopefully I'm not too late for you to join in. Okay, I see that we're here now. So, um, anyways, I know I'm late, so come on in and say hello. Again, I'm Nancy Thompson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New York, and I have some creative ink to share with you today. So, um, let me just get a grid paper out. So, that's done. And we're going to start with that last minute Christmas card idea that you might have. And you could do this with any designer paper that you may have, okay? Um, so make sure you say hello. I'm looking, see, I'm not um, seeing any comments from anybody yet today. So there's a comment. I wonder why they're not loading. Um, let's see here. Um, I don't know why my comments haven't loaded, but hopefully I see Linda is here and Shirley. So I'm going to look on my computer today. Um, that's so weird that, um, that it's not working on my stream. Okay. All right. So Gail, welcome. Okay. And Ellen is here too. So, um, and Betty. So hello. Okay. We'll get started. So I chose, I'm using, um, designer paper from the sweet, a sweetest candy cane designer paper and it's our mini catalog and I think it has retired okay um, I've got this one design out and good I had to make sure I had a um, a uh, paper cutter in my in reach so um, so we're gonna take this one piece of designer paper it is four and a quarter by five and a half and um, uh, we're gonna create two cards using this. It's just flooring me that I don't have comments. I guess I got to go in and make sure that something doesn't need to be updated. So, um, anyways, okay. Um, so we're gonna use my paper trimmer here. I've already opened up my ink pad. Let me move a few things out of the way here. Um, here we go. There we go. Can you guys all see that? Okay, so remember I said this is four and a quarter wide by five and a half. So this would, if you want, it would completely cover a card front, okay? So we're going to cut this into two. And I'm going to just line this corner up at one and a half inches and this at one and a half inches on my paper trimmer. So I'm going to go on this side at one and a half and, oh, where's one and a half on this one? Um... That's so weird. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it just has to be kind of like in half, okay? Um, just so it looks like it's half. Oh, there it goes. The one and a half goes to the edge here. I was using a different cutter. And I'm going to just cut these into two. So now I have two cards, two card pieces, two designer pieces here to create a card with, okay? So before we add this to our card, I'm going to pull in my silicone mat. How many have a silicone mat and you use this? Um, hi, Gail. Welcome back, Gail. And Carol is here. Oh, Carol. Oh, good. Uh, Carol just received. She placed an order, um, a couple orders this last month, and she just got her package in of her card kit. So she's excited to, I'm sure, stamp them up. Um, and welcome Kathy. I'm glad you're here too. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're also going to take, 
Um, this is also another design that's out of this Sweetest Candy Cane designer paper. As I said, I think it it is gone because it was it was on the last chance list, um, and you're gonna find that it's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna use some liquid glue here. Okay, and I'm gonna just put a thin line just on the on this angled part here. Okay. And I want this red strip showing, okay? I just kind of wanted to create a little border with this, a little edging, okay? So you're going to want to leave yourself like a tail, okay? You don't want to go very all the way to the end. And you're going to see in just a minute why. And I'm going to just put a little hint. This is a half inch strip. Um, I didn't have any red glimmer uh, paper left, but red glimmer paper would really look really cute um, with this, okay? So if you guys are commenting, um, okay, can you still buy the silicone mat? Oh, you can. It's in our annual catalog, Carol. It's, um, it's definitely a uh, must-have because it's so great um, because I've got some glue on here. Now it's not on my strip. Um, we're going to leave that for a minute. In fact, I'm going to just cut it off a little bit. So we've got edges on both sides here. And let me kind of um, zoom in a little bit more for you guys, okay? I didn't like check this out sooner. Okay, I think that's good. And just so you guys can remember this, here's my post code here. So if you're needing to order any supplies, I'm going to tell you more about this in a little bit, why you're going to want that host code. Okay, so we've got this. Now I'm going to um, add some liquid glue because this is going to go directly onto our card um, base here. All right, I'm going to try not to get past. There we go. So let's move that out of the way. And I'm going to just, this is going to fit the same length, okay, the width. And liquid glue, you've got a little bit of time to um, maneuver it around. All right, so there's our card front. And we're going to just simply open this up. And we're, now we're going to trim off this excess. So that way you get this strip all the way to our edge, okay? Um, it looks like my card's a little bit uneven or I didn't put it on right. So I might trim this off later, um, but not right now. We, I can do that later. So I'm a, my cutting must be not quite right. Okay, then we're gonna simply add a greeting with real red ink because there's real red in this. And I'm gonna just put this down here, okay? And then we're gonna add um, a simple, um, candy cane. Okay. We'll just add this simple candy cane onto here and let me just cover up my glue so it doesn't dry the tip out. And we'll add some dimensionals to this. Okay. And I need to move that ink pad because red is a bear, isn't it? To, um, get all over you. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm just seeing if there's any comments. There we go. Yeah, probably my streaming software needs to be updated for some reason. I might not have updated it recently. Okay, for some reason I can't get that off. So we're gonna just throw that one away and try another one here. There we go. So let's just simply add this onto here. And then I've already pre-tied a bow. We're gonna add a mini glue dot. This is the white glitter ribbon here, which I think is still current. I don't, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, try to make sure we use current stuff. All right, we're gonna just add that onto our candy cane and give our ends of our ribbon a little trim. And then we've got a cute little, um, a fast and quick and easy card. What do you think? And if you didn't have the dies, if you happen to have this designer paper and you didn't have the dies, you could easily um, fussy cut these candy canes. It's a simple 
one too fussy pop cut. So let's add a greeting saying on the inside. This is the framed from the framed and festive uh, stamp set that retires in just like another couple weeks. Okay, um, at the end, I think it's the end of December or definitely with January fourth um, coming up when the mini retires. It could be January thirtieth or December thirtieth that that retires. Okay, so let's stamp this onto here and hopefully I'm straight I didn't really look at it all right so we've got a quick and simple card and some matching designer paper on the envelope that makes it so easy to do okay here's my other one this one I had used um, some of the festive foil paper but I definitely it's kind of like more of a cherry cobbler look but I definitely like the the polka dot look or if I had the glitter paper red glitter all I had was white left um, but the red would really look sharp with this but look at those simple and easy cards so make sure you're commenting so somebody today will definitely two people today will get one of these cards okay okay so let's move on to some fun stuff okay so remember that template can be used with so many different cards ideas you know any type of designer paper to quickly make some cards easily. You could even just use colored card stock, but the glitter paper, glimmer paper, really um, gives it a, a pop of color. Okay, so I don't think we need that again. So let's move on to, um, I gotta show you, we're gonna use this paper here. It's called Dandy Designs, and I haven't done my, my paper charts yet, so, um, look at this fun paper it's 48 sheets um, and really some fun whimsical type designs um, that you can use with so many different stamp sets look at these purple um, daisy flowers um, I've used this design a lot um, there's like some other designs here here's some more of the daisies um, but I'll showcase its stars. Um, it's just a really cool. Now this pack of paper comes free with a $100 purchase starting January 5th, 5th because it's celebration time. So, um, so start making your wish list. If you need a mini catalog, you can reach out to me. Um, it's free if you placed an order with me in the past six months. Um, let's see what else or if you place an order soon um, uh, let's see what else um, so that's the dandy design paper we're gonna pair it with the cottage rose because that can really be used with any type of stamp set um, that you want so the cottage rose I love this um, we um, yeah so let's see we're gonna pull in um, we're gonna pull in this dandy design paper Okay, right here, this pattern right here. It's a fresh freesia color. Okay, um, it's three and three quarters by five inches. And we're going to um, just simply add it to um, my lights gonna go out here. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. I've been having trouble with my ring light. So I'm hoping um, this is bright enough. Let me know if it's bright enough for you guys. Um, I think I got to get a new bulb for it because it went out the other day. Um, I don't know why this seal plus is like backtracking on me. It's like ripping up the cards, the designer paper. Let's see if we can get this to work again. I'm going to just go lightly here. Okay. Light touch is all you really need. Okay. So let's, um, because my other light is like so intense bright because I I have, um, I think I gotta go back to, to the Tombow liquid glue. I can't, I haven't used the seal in a while and I'm not used to it. Okay, so there's that. Get rid of that piece of paper. Um, so what we're gonna do is, um, 
So I've already stamped and colored because I, I just have a lot to show you guys today and I didn't want to spend a lot of time. But I took my Stampin' Blends, okay, and I colored this flower and I colored this flower because it here's one of the stamped images in this set, okay. So I colored this one and this one and this one. This is a trio. Um, and the dyes in this are really cool. It's amazing how this cuts it out. So you pretty much know that this one will cut out the, the larger flower right here, okay? And then this one cuts out this and this, okay? And you can kind of see where they go. So this one matches up with this. Um, hopefully you guys can see that right there, okay? And then these three here will match up with down here, with this one down here. You just fiddle around with it and you can figure it out. So we're gonna cut these three right here. Let me just grab my stamp cut and emboss machine here. And there's also some really cool dies. These are like, um, they just cut out the outline of these images. They don't cut out stamps. So these are kind of like a really nice embellishment to go with, um, with the uh, stamp set. Okay, so let's pull this in and we'll pull this and look how, um, see how well worn my plate is? That's because I always keep this one on the bottom and I only flip it um, when I start to feel a bow in it, okay? And then this one maintains on the, the top here, okay? All right, so, um, okay, so we're going to, we're going to line this up on here. You just got to make sure it stays on your platform, okay? And see how that's lined up on there? And we'll run this through, open this up. My phone's been pretty quiet up until today. Today it's starting the solicitation phone calls that nobody wants to hear from, right? Let's just pop that back closed. And here we go. See how cool that, that cuts that out? It really die cuts those flowers really well. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And we're done with the dies. Okay, so let's put this card together. It's really easy to put together. Um, so we've got our, our base here, and we're gonna start with this flower, okay? I'm gonna simply add some dimensionals to it. I don't know, probably quite a few, because I, I like to keep it a stable card. And I'm gonna keep like not too many here, because I want to I'm just kind of show you. I want to be able to tuck this, okay? And I don't want my dimensionals to kind of get in the way of, of tucking it, okay? Do I have problems with the plate bowing, Carol? Um, not if the top one will eventually bow, but that one I just keep flipping the top one. But the bottom one, if I, if you designate a bottom plate and only use it, you got to start out with new ones. If you always designate I label it and only use that on the bottom of my platform and then um, only just keep flipping around the top one, you will have success. Um, I need like, I need a piece here. Hopefully it's not getting too dark for you guys. Otherwise I'll have to jump up and turn on the light here. Okay, so we've got this. Let's get rid of these. But I've had those same plates for months, and um, they're still working really good. I think eventually I gotta change out because the bottom one just is really cut up pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna put that up in the corner, and then this is just gonna go on flat. The rest of the flowers are gonna go flat. So let's add a little bit of adhesive, and we're gonna just kind of tuck that one there 
And then we're gonna do um, these two smaller flowers. Let's get rid of these dimensional papers. Oh. Okay. Let's go with these. Um, I'm gonna just kind of stick this here, and then just kind of layer these up a little bit, and then this other one here. Okay, so we kind of like got a bouquet going, right? Okay, so let's um, stamp our greeting. Did I pull that out? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, phew. Okay, so we've got a greeting here, and I'll pull in some memento ink. I'm doing happy birthday. I gotta move this closer. Let's get the label straight on my grid here. And hopefully this comes out straight. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so let's add some adhesive on the back here. And then I'm going to um, just center this on here. You could either leave it straight like that. Okay, can you guys see that? I left the ends just kind of straight on there. Or um, I'm going to take my old um, hexagon punch here and I'm going to just flag the ends just a little bit. Just take a little... Or you could use your scissors as well. I, I have better luck at getting a nice evenness um, when I use the punch. Okay, so let's add some dimensionals here. Okay, and I need some mini ones. Let's see, here we go. Because I like, I'm going to use some mini ones on here. So let's add this label. I love these colors. Purple, of course, many of you know, purple's my color. Okay, so we've got that. And then we've got this lonely little flower left. So we're going to add a couple mini glue dots just at the top of the petals. And there we go. And I'm going to just put just a dab of glue here, okay? Should have took the backing off first. There we go. Okay, looking at comments. And then we're going to just kind of add that onto there, okay? Okay, so let's look. You turn your plate every other time I use it, um, <clears throat> Kathleen. Well, if you... If you're going to do the way I, I suggested, um, where you're designating that bottom plate, just leave the bottom plate there until it starts to get a little bit of bow. You don't need to flip it until then. It'll just stay even. I don't think I flip it that often. Okay, so this is going to... i got to look at my sample. I, I did raise this. So we're going to put dimensionals on this, okay, and mount it on some fresh freesia cardstock. All right. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome. I'm glad you caught live. Um, so we use the die cutting about a times. Now I have a bow plate. Huh. Yeah, it shouldn't bow that quickly, I wouldn't think. It depends. On, sometimes when you're doing like intense um, um, things where it's like... Um, I don't know. Um, like if you have like if the if you're doing like a whole background die and it's got like all this detail in it, then that does make it go a little bit faster. Okay, so here we go. So I'm trying to like get my stock of birthday cards um, done up. Okay, so I've got lots on hand. So the inside um, I took and did um, did one of the larger um, stitched uh, rectangles. So that's going to be my inside and forgot to put the bow on here. So let's finish up the outside here. We're going to add a bow here on this. So let's, um, I guess, just kind of stick it here. You could go anywhere as you want. Let's trim this up. There we go. This is their um, quarter inch uh, crinkled seam binding. It's just a nice, soft, um, subtle um, uh, 
card. And I know I have some rhinestones somewhere. Did I leave them? Oh, here we go. Okay. We're going to add some bling to this. Okay. So let's bling this up a little bit. Um, let's add one of the bigger ones here and then a medium and a small on here. Okay. Let's go down here. Take your pick tool is great for picking up these gems. Okay. All right, so you need to add this to the inside. And you could stamp um, another image in here if you wanted to in color. I didn't get that far. Okay, so lots of times I just like to leave it blank. Okay, isn't that just gorgeous? What do you guys think? Do you love that? And I didn't do the envelope ahead of time, but I think the envelope just really makes it. So let's add some glue here. I've got a lot on here. Let's try and spread this out a little bit. Okay. Whoops. So it's been really cold here and gotten a little bit of snow, but hopefully we don't get much for this storm. That There's a storm coming in and hopefully we don't get the feet that some areas are gonna get. So, okay, almost done here. Okay, you guys still got enough light there? Okay, so isn't that just gorgeous? I love this card. What do you guys think? So, Dandy Designs Designer Paper, free with a $100 order starting January 5th. Or, if you want to join my Ink With Heart Stampers team and get the starter kit now, you can get this... Um, uh, place another order after your kit and um, get this paper added on right away. But January 5th is just a few weeks away and there is a special coming up for celebration. When you join it during celebration, you can, um, there's a couple different ways. Um, for $99, get $175 for free or with $129, you get a mini cut and emboss machine and $175 worth of products. So, um, but you can ask me more about that if you're interested. Okay. One package came to the rest. We'll arrive tomorrow. Yay for early Christmas. Okay. Well, early Christmas could be, a, well, not really early Christmas because our shipping is so far behind because January or December 1st, um, the, you know, with the last chance list and clearance rack and demos, demonstrators being able to pre-order mini catalog stuff. It was one of their biggest all-time ordering day ever. So that backed up shipping eight days. That's, that's a lot of orders for them to ship up. But they finally finished the December 1st orders and now are working through um, to get up, get caught up. So please have patience if you're waiting for an order. Okay, so here's this card in um, petal pink. What do you think? Aren't they both just gorgeous? And this is using that dandy design designer paper as well. And this card I did a while ago. And it uses the Lights Aglow designer paper in the background. So there's another great idea. So you can really incorporate using this Cottage Rose stamp set with a lot of different um, designer papers. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so what else do I want to show you? Okay, so I got another card. Now this is using... Um, kind of the dandy, the dandy design designer paper as well and the favorite flower celebration paper so I don't have I really need to hopefully in the next few weeks I'll be getting my um, paper um, samplers put together okay so here's like the front of this and back side um, here's this one and here's the flip side right there there. I know it's getting dark. Um, and then here's this one right here. And the flip side that's petal, petal pink and it has kind of like the same design as that previous one. 
Um, here, these are just, I think, gorgeous looking papers. Um, this one's just really, um, could be a great manly color because it's evening evergreen on there. And then we've got this one. And then there's a design I've already cut up and used it all. Um, here's this one as well. Clips of Coral is one of the colors. And then the other one has all these flowers, um, that you can die cut with the coordinating die. Okay. Um, that's in our mini catalog. So there's all these flowers here that you can die cut. And then here's the backside design right there. Okay. So as you can see, I've already cut up two pieces, two pages of that paper. And I'm saving these little side ones, you know, because they could be like added on to the inside of my card. Let's see. What am I using? I'm using. So, okay. So let's move on here and just let me show you this other card that I have and it uses, um, what's the bundle we're using here? Fragrant, fragrant flowers. And with this mini catalog, Stampin' Up! Um, has made the, the die set, the coordinating die set, the same name as the stamp set. Yay! So glad they went back to that. So it's less confusing um, to um, to figure out what set goes with what. I love this. This is kind of like a stitched uh, frame here, label here, and it will fit in the thanks and the hello, okay? And then we've got these littler dies here that will work with, with um, these smaller words, okay? And then we have this one that will cut out this. And this, remember, it cuts out the designer paper right here okay and then we have one for this and then the rest are like embellishment type dies we've got outlines of leaves kind of like this um it'll leave this impression like a, an embossed impression it doesn't cut out it will just leave an embossed impression it kind of um, mimics some of the designs in the paper okay all right so there's that die set which is really cool fragrant flowers and if you love to color this is a fun one to color with as well it's very similar to coloring um as the cottage rose okay so let's so we're, this one really is gonna go kind of together like the other one okay it's gonna mimic the other design that we just got done oh i got a bow stuck to this so let's add some liquid glue here Okay, and add this on here, and let me go turn on a light, okay? See if that helps a little bit. Okay, I think that's a little brighter because it's dark. Now you're going to see shadows, that's the only thing. Um, with this other light that I have. So, hi Elaine, welcome. Um, how is Oswego County doing, Kathleen? Um, they're gonna get hit with snow. <laughs> um, yeah, so they can have it. I, I could do without the sn snow. We have just enough. It's a nice light cover covering and we do not need to shovel. Okay, so we're gonna add, let's see here, we're gonna add this on like this. I'm gonna put this on flat. Okay, so let's just add a little bit of glue so I don't get glue all over. So when you're at, using Tombow glue, it's best to try to think of pencil lines. Oh boy, that's not good. So let's see if that'll dry for a minute. Let's just add this onto here like this. Okay, and let's see. I think we're going to use the word hello. I forgot to grab a block here. <clears throat> stamp set. Let's just pull this off. Oh, I'm sick. I lost a stamp from my tea set from last week. I got a, I'm not sure if, hopefully I didn't vacuum it up. I'm still kind of hunting for it. I'm trying to still clean off my desk a little bit. Well, the desk has been cleaned. I just got a it's probably stuck to something. It's enough to... Okay, so this is a solid image stamp. 
And I should have grabbed my Stamparatus for this. Um, I think I'm going to because it's so solid. I, I was having trouble stamping it. So let's um, throw this in. Let's see if we can peel this off without getting so inky. Um, I gotta add, let me grab this and this. So let's line this up so we know that's straight. And hopefully that'll hold that down just enough. There. Just want to make sure that stays. And I'm going to take my chances that I put this on straight. It doesn't mess it up. We'll see. Oh, oh, rats! Okay, we're going to just pretend that looks good. So, because I don't have another one die cut. So, because you can kind of see it's not like really sharp. By having, using your Stamparatus, you can then stamp it again. And I'll make another one when I'm going to, I'll replace it on my card. Okay, see how much crisper that came out? So, and I don't think... I can have enough embellishment too, but maybe I can figure something out. Okay, so I just gotta find a place to put that. So we're going to then lift this, but maybe, um, let's see, do I have one die cut? Hang on. I might have, wonder if I can add like one of these flowers. How will that look? Because I really don't want to do another label if I don't have to. I think we're going to go like that. What do you guys think? Think that'll work? Look okay? And my glue is almost dry here. Okay, so I think we'll do that. Um, let's add this on first, I think. Okay. So let's just add a little bit of glue and then I'm going to know where to put the dimensionals. So there's always a way to embellish, right? A way to fix a mistake up. Okay, well, let's see. Very nice die set. Um, I know it's just, especially the photopolymer, and I always try to be good about it, but it was like really tiny in there, some words. And... If I can't find it, I'm going to have to buy another set <laughs> because it's what makes the set. And I know I want to make some other cards with it. So, okay, so let's add some dimensionals on here so that we have a nice stable label. Okay. So thanks, guys. So guess what's happening tomorrow? Um, Free shipping is happening again in the Stampin' Up! world at Stampin' Up! So if you have a $75 or more order, you can receive free shipping. So save another 11%. And especially if you have um, items on the last chance list that are discounted, all kinds of savings that can go on. Um, this is going to go on... Let me see here. Um, do I have another piece of cardstock? I gotta look. What was I gonna put it on? Oh, I didn't. Hang on. Um, oh yeah, it's over here. Phew! Do I wanna raise that? My sample is raised. I think I will. We're gonna raise it. I think it'll be okay to mail. And speaking of mailing, um, postage is going up in January, so you might want to stock up on some stamps to get you through the year for a little bit or for a period of time. There we go. And then we've got some evening evergreen ribbon here. We're going to add, so let's add a glue dot to that. 
and just add this up in here. We'll give this a trim. And the boo boos. Oh, thanks, Gail. Yes, there always seems a way to cover the mistakes. Just have to think about it, or you can always stamp it again because all it is is cardstock and ink, right? Okay, so what do you think? Um, I think it needs a little bling though. So let's pull our bling back in here and let's use this up. Let's add in some bling over here and down here. Okay, and got another stitch rectangle piece here. I've already die cut it. It's going to be for the inside. If it was a white card base, I would have just matted it on some of this um, petal pink cardstock. But we're going to just the decorative at you know the stitch edge just gives it that decorativeness. There we go. Okay. And here is the coordinating envelope. So what do you think? So we've got, see how similar that is to like that as well? Um, so do you like the, um, let me think here what this is called again. Fragrant flowers set here or the cottage rose set here. Okay. Um, and let's see here and here's the thing on free shipping what did i do with that so free shipping december 15th um with 75 dollars or more order so keep an eye out on that okay okay so let me look at comments i'm ordering cardstock because it's the heaviest thing i order <laughs> good idea well it Weight doesn't matter when you when you order um, for free shipping because our shipping is based on dollar amount, so it doesn't really matter what what your weight is. Um, so that that's the way they average it. Um, and actually, Stampin' Up does subsidize our shipping, so it truly does cost more than what they're charging. So I'm glad you guys love them both. Um, so if you have questions about ordering for tomorrow, um, feel free to reach out to me to let me know um, that you have questions um, or if I can help you in any way. But I highly recommend you order early, especially if you want um, items from the last chance list or the clearance rack, okay? Um, because once those items are gone, they're gone. And, um, and just definitely don't expect your um, order to arrive before Christmas, okay? It should be shortly after Christmas when it arrives, all right? So um, if you have any, uh, thank you for joining me today. I so appreciate you. Hit the share and like buttons. Um, and you can always watch this replay over on my YouTube channel, okay? Um, it's there. Check underneath the live videos and you can see them all, okay? So thanks so much and have a great weekend. We're, we're closing in on the Christmas um, day. So thanks so much and we will see you.